Wow, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's happening to me? It's your boy Playing Global, also known as FCMD. Forever chasing money to be the game. Y'all know we locked in like 20 now. Believe that, believe that. Yes, Lord. <laughs> hey, no, bro, we got Machine Gun Kelly, MGK. Uh, only song that I really, really know from him, like right off top, like that I can think of is Rap Devil. And I know he got, he like, he been on a lot of, you know, punk, punk rock shit. You know what I'm saying? That shit go hard, bro. That, that pop rock, well, how you want to, you know, you want know, to label it or pronounce it or whatever, bro. Like, you know, he really like a dope artist. I'm sorry. Fucking light feel. I got to fix my light. Um, but, like, he really a dope ass artist, though. Just, like, overall, bro. And he really be spitting. So, you already know it's... <laughs> It's not unlike us for us not to tune in, so you know we go to it. Hey, without no further ado, man, make sure that y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get to it, baby. I want it to sound far from everything. I seek you out for you. I didn't leave a letter on my desk saying goodbye People think I left even though I'm still here Pressure made its way through my chest to my heart Like a spark dust, fireworks on the new year Burning me alive, life imitates art There are flames on my arms tattooed right here Bury me alive, disappear underground Where they found me before I ever had this career mm. I seek you out for you Just to let you know, that hook is hard as hell, bro. Like, I, that flame, that is like, that shit solid, bro. Like, for real. I really fuck with that. Oh, and then he got that little bad bitch from Transformers. Oh, yeah, I see you. Hey, nigga, you bad that one, boy. My boy. Hey, hey, we here, boy. Hey, we here. Hey, you, hey. Yeah, it ain't really different with you. <laughs> yes, Lord. Diamond knowing that they are forever. Even if my body is still around the well. Suits are only for the funerals and not the weddings. Only vows I made that other person couldn't share. Know that I'm a monster like the one under the bed. Afraid of having kids, I'm scared I'll be just like my parents. These were my decisions. Now this cross, I gotta wear it. Self inflicting these decisions. Yeah, I can no longer bear. That's tough, bro. Like, uh, afraid to have kids because you're afraid to be like your parents. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I would say this. Like, I feel like that's every greatest parent's biggest fear. You know what I'm saying? Like, every great parent has that fear. Uh, especially when you believe or you have a, uh, a certain sense that maybe your childhood could have been better or there were some things that you didn't enjoy throughout your childhood, you feel what I'm saying? Like, like I totally understand where you're, you know, where you're coming from. Uh, but I would say having kids, now the biggest thing that you try not to do is make some of the mistakes that, you know what I'm saying, that you saw your parent make with you. You know what I'm saying? So you really try to do things differently. And so, like, uh, I've always heard, you know, things are done intentionally. Like, when you, when you have intentions to do different, you would do different. You know what I'm saying? Because those are your intentions. You know what I'm saying? So, like, that's just what it is. You just got to have that mindset that, hey, look, um, I'm going to raise my kids differently. And, like, there's no best way to raise a child. Like, there's, there's not, there's, like, it doesn't show that if I raise my child this way, they're guaranteed to turn out a certain way. So, that's what I mean by that. Because there's been studies done that say, like, hey, if you chance out your child, then they would be more prone to this, you know. Yes, they're more prone, but there's no guarantee. You know what, you understand what I'm saying? Like, there was a guarantee that I would say, okay, this needs to be the standard of how we raise kids, right? But because that doesn't exist, we don't have something, you know, we can't say that. 
you know. So, bro, you know, do that. And I think you already have a child. So, what the fuck is you talking about? <laughs> but this ain't about that that's just afraid of having kids because they think they're going to fail or they, what you call them, bro. I can tell you one thing, you know, I was having this conversation with my girl, like, bro, being a parent is just winging it. <laughs> you just try to do the best you fucking can and to keep your head above water. Like, when I say that, like, kids are a handful. Kids are the biggest blessing in life. Uh, but they require a lot of energy. Like, a lot. You know what I'm saying? So, like, uh, and we had twins. So, like, they double. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? Type shit. So, really just, really just coming from that place of understanding. Like, bro, I get you. This is long story short. I get you. <laughs> Sick of sitting inside of this room because every thought I got's negative. I'm sick of not being able to sleep and relying only on a sedative. I feel you on that, bro. It got to the point to where, like, I was going through so much in my life that my mind just would not rest. And because my mind would not rest, I could not sleep. Like, literally, I would be tired as shit, but could not sleep because my mind was just in such a shitty space. You understand what I'm saying? So I really got addicted to drugs at one point in my life. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, I'm no longer addicted. You know, you know, thank God. You know what I'm saying? But like, bro, life happens. You don't know how to deal with it. You know, there's, you know, you, you never heard of therapy or you heard of therapy, but it's been like, be like, who the fuck does that in the black community? Like, so like, there's all kinds of shit, bro, that we go through like that. You know, that is seen as abnormal or unnormal. You know what I'm saying? That we don't talk about, that we don't speak about. Like, and I really feel like that maybe if I had someone to speak to or if I had a therapist, that I wouldn't have to take those pills because I would be able to talk about what's, you know, what's the fucking problem. You understand what I'm saying? Without relying on myself so heavily to figure the shit out by myself. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the biggest thing in life that I would tell people is that don't suffer in silence. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, this, this, <laughs> there are too many people that love and care about you for you to suffer in silence. There are people that you never met, that you never met, that loves you. You understand what I'm saying? The world is too big to suffer in silence. So, please don't, bro. Like, don't. No. Sick of hearing another voice telling me what to do on my head again. Psychiatrist said he's imaginary, but I know he's real if I said he is. Fighting with myself so I can't help that I'm competitive. This movie is my life, but I still remain uncredited. I don't care how big I get, I still remain unedited. I built this from the ground up, y'all just living it. Long hair, don't care, I'm not trimming it. Fuck vanity, caught up in an image made by the internet. My insanity's imminent. All sharks I'm swimming with. What's hell, I've been in it. My happiness is bankrupt. But my credit cards unlimited. Fuck. Yeah. Find you just. That's hard, bro. That's hard. Did you hear what he said? All sharks I'm swimming with. What's hell? I've been in it. My happiness is bankrupt, but my credit cards unlimited. That's that's so tough, right? My happiness is bankrupt, but my credit card is unlimited. Like I have all this money. Yeah, I'm unhappy. And the reason why I'm unhappy is because of so many different things that money can't buy. You understand what I'm saying? Money can't buy true love. Money can't buy true happiness. It can buy temporary happiness. Hey, I ain't going to lie to you, dick. You know, I ain't been a millionaire, you know. But shit, what I would have bought that for, nigga felt good as fuck. When I bought this big ass Cuban, nigga felt good as fuck. But at the same time, like, damn, after I buy this shit, I can't go to sleep with this on. I can't go to sleep in the fall. Well, you can, but it ain't going to make me happy. It made me happy in that moment. And there's moments where it does continue to make me happy. But in life, just like my everyday life, when, you, when I think about the shit that makes me happy, those things don't come up. Because there's bigger shit to life than materialistic things. 
And that's all money can buy is materialistic things. Happiness comes from self, right? So you gotta be happy with him, bro. So, like, I feel you, bro. MGK, boy, you spit, boy. <laughs> it really ain't different when we here. When we here, okay? We here, my boy. Fuck, yeah, find you just to remind you that when you're born an anomaly nowadays it's probably gonna be harder to find you Don't leave the past behind you, don't forget all of the fans who ride Go back and open up the catalog to my first songs and rewind you Remember the things that drive you, remember the feeling of being alone in a home as a kid every night with this trauma But having nobody to cry to, growing up and having trust issues now everyone I say bye to Looking up at the sky I found a destination to fly to Oh, that was hard, my boy. That was hard. Would you give it? I gotta give it a nine, bro. I gotta give it a nine, bro. I, hey, I gotta give it a nine. I, hey, I got to. It was hard, bro. He, we, we, hey, we was here, and he was talking that talk. I love music, bro. That really comes with a message, bro. Um, and, you know, sometimes it can be surface level and sometimes it can be, you know, in between the lines, you know what I'm saying? You got to really, you know, think about it. But either way, great song, bro. Great song, great, great lyrics, you know, dope visuals, you know what I'm saying? So, all right, bro, we, we locked in, bro. Um, anyway, man, thank you guys so much for tuning in, bro. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Hey, we really going up. We really going up. Believe that. Believe that. Ah, why? Hey, though. No. We're going to roll to 500 subscribers. Russell, we 500 subscribers. I will be giving away $100 to a random subscriber, bro. Don't know who it is. So make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss that opportunity. To take your tape from get to take your gas tape from E to full a few times. Yeah, but maybe twice. If you got a diesel, maybe once if you got a diesel. Shit, the gas diesel hot as a motherfucker. I'll ride my cousin the day, motherfucker had a duty. Boy, man, I'm gonna put like $130 in that bit to fill it up. Cause, hey, I'm sorry, Nick. I can't do nothing for you now. <laughs> hey, no, man, bro. Thank you guys so much, bro, for tuning in, bro. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I know we locked in like 20 now. And until I come back, bro, make sure that y'all stay safe, stay blessed. Hey, and I'm out. <gasps> My little bitch be pressure. She wear Gucci with Melissa's cause she extra. I might double text her. Damn that pussy good, but her 